Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer deaths in Washington and across the United States, as according to the American Lung Association. Now, over at the MultiCare Tacoma General Hospital, they're now using a robotic surgical system to detect lung cancer faster than usual. Fox 13's Shira Matsuzawa has a look at how it all works. First, they prep. It's a quick procedure. The team here is getting ready to do a biopsy using the ion robotic bronchoscopy, which is a robotic surgical system. It's a minimally invasive procedure and works to detect lung cancer. Usually the earlier stage you diagnose lung cancer scene, the better is the outcome. Dr. Abhishek Biswas is the interventional pulmonologist. He says this patient has a 1.2 centimeter nodule in the left upper part of her lung. So what we are trying to do is to take a catheter, which is this one, down her throat into the left upper lobe of the lung under general anesthesia and then get some tissue. So right now we are registering the patient to make sure that the computer system uses a CT scan and has a real-time confirmation of how the CT scan looks like. It, it confirms the patient's CT scan and matches it to the patient's actual anatomy. He says the complexity of this case comes from the fact that this is a really small nodule and the lung is constantly moving while the patient breathes. What the cone beam CT scan does for us is, as we do the biopsy, it confirms that we are in the right spot. It makes sure that we are getting the tissue from the right exact area where we want to be. It adds to the accuracy, it increases our yield, and last but not the least, it adds to the safety of the procedure. Once the patient is under anesthesia, they do what's called a spin. Basically, you'll see it spin 360 degrees, and that's actually a CT scan in action. The ION system is partnered with a 3D CT imaging system okay. that allows the medical team to better see a potential tumor. Right there, we are in the nodule. That looks very good. On. Okay, off. It then goes from the machine to here. Oh, that's a good sample. They're very nice and very helpful. Bev Ann Brookshire was in that patient's place not too long ago. I counted backwards and I was out and they did the procedure. When I woke up, my daughter was there holding my hand. She says her throat was a little sore after. Then a week later. My lower left lung was removed, which took away all the cancer. So no chemo. Dr. Biswas says if it wasn't for this technology, Procedures like these would be longer and more complicated. The only way to really have a strong impact on lung cancer mortality and um, you know, outcome is to identify the nodules or cancer when they're really early, when they're, they're really small tumors. Just 10 years ago, he says technology like this wasn't available. Um, and that hits home for Bev. Uh, my husband passed away 12 years ago from, from lung cancer also. and. His was the size of a baseball. By the time they discovered it, it never showed up on an x-ray. The last time he did have an x-ray, he was already coughing up blood. Her husband died three months later. I've seen the worst and I have lived through it now too, in my opinion. Doesn't it look like Eddie now? Back in the operating room. Procedure went exactly as we thought it would. Clearly, this was a nodule that could have been a difficult one to biopsy had we not had the technology that we had. And because of that, doctors are able to care for more patients in less time and move toward treatment as well as a cure. Shira Matsuzawa, Fox 13 News.